I've got Abby out and she's come in for our two weekend house training and I want to put a little bit on tape show you where she started this is what I remember from the office we are a high high strong dog so we're gonna have to work on this um, the biting is a problem I can already tell that no quit so we're gonna have to stop that right away so that's not acceptable can't reach down and pet you if you don't if you're gonna bite at me no good oh did you find the treats okay how about it oh good good most poodles aren't very treat motivated so it's nice that she really likes treats that's going to be a, a good sign all right how do you walk no feet on the floor huh <laughs> good Abby sit good sit look at there okay so I got her attention. I made her sit. She does know what that means. Doesn't stay. <laughs> Back to the jumping. This will get better the longer I take her on a walk. So we're just going to have to walk it out. You know, that's what I tell everybody. You know, the, the first sign of all this jumping and acting up is you just got to walk it out. And sometimes it takes a lot, a lot of walking. And sometimes it can take very little. So, um, but overall, I think she's going to do just fine. Um, you know, we just took a brief walk yesterday, but we're going to get really with it today. Um, but we've got another, we've got two weeks to get this all taken care of. Um, but we'll get her back out at the end of week one and see how she's doing it halfway. Hey, I've got Abby out and she's been here for a week. So I wanted to put a little bit on tape, show you where she's at. She's doing good. Um, it's obvious that she's been worked with. She's 10 months old. So it should, at this point, she should know a few things. Um, and, I, and I think she has in between homes and stuff like that. It sounds like somebody has tried to work with her a little bit. Um, she does has a lot of puppy and a lot of energy, you know, and that's probably not going to go away. That's just something you're going to have to control, um, you know, because a lot of these dogs do have that kind of energy. These were made for hunting dogs, you know, and people kind of forget that when they get one. Um, they think they're these calm dogs that lay around <laughs> and they don't always get that. You know, sometimes you get the sporting side of things, which is I want to go, go, go. And that's kind of how Abby is. So um, I don't think there's any problem with that. It's just something you're going to have to learn to control. Um, I think she can be calm when she wants to, just like now. Um, but she does have a lot of that energy and that, that excess is trying to get out. So we're going to put her through her paces and show you what she's learned in week one. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, Abby, let's go. Good. Stay. Good. Stay. That's without any kind of distractions or anything like that, other than just a little bit of traffic. Good girl. Okay. So. You can see her what looking around. It, I don't know if you can see, but she was posted up. She was ready for action, you know. That's just Abby. Come on, let's go. The walking and the jumping have gotten so much better. Been working on it. Good sit. Look at that. See, she's had some training because she knew an automatic sit. She's been being told sit every time, but I just thought I'd let her see if she'd do it. Good, sit. Stay. No. Okay. Good. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Good girl. It's taking lots of walking to get those feet on the ground. Good. Want to play a little game? We've been working on come. Ready? Get it. Abby, come. Good. 
good. Ready? Get it. Abby, come. Come in. Sit. Good. Just a little far out. Get it. But you can jump on me. Abby, come. You missed that one. No. Get it? Abby, come. Sit. But I am going to remind her to sit a little further out. I don't want her getting on in. I know. Hi. In to me too close like this because then it just encourages her to jump up. No. Get it. Abby, come. Hurry. Sit. Good. Good job. Good. Uh uh. Leave it. Good job. So, as I said, I think she's had some work done before. She kind of knows what she's supposed to do. She wasn't consistent at it. Sit. But getting out every day has really helped. We put a little bit of consistency behind it. And we put some, it is required, it is not offered. You know, sometimes also with puppies, people tend to be a little lax. Sit. Okay, you can see it, see it. You know, and they don't really get in there and say, sit. Um, and, and really make it happen. So sometimes that's just a, it's just a disconnect with the dog. Um, sometimes we're being just a little too easy. And we need a little bit rougher stuff just from a Abby point of view. Sometimes it takes a little hard-headedness to get through the hard head. <laughs> but I think overall she's doing really good. So she's got another week to go. We're going to put her up. And we'll get her back out at the end of week two and see how she's going, doing before she heads home.